Corbin Burns, who goes to Baltimore as he enters what is his walk year. He is a free agent at the end of the 2024 campaign. Going to Milwaukee, D.L. Hall, a former number one draft pick, a reliever but does have starter experience. Infielder Joey Ortiz, a top 100 prospect and the 34th overall pick in the upcoming 2024 MLB draft. Let's bring in one of our insiders, John Heyman, who joins us now here as we cover this breaking news. John, how did this deal come together? Well, the Orioles have been looking for a top pitcher all winter. We knew they've been talking to Dylan Cease. Cease still with the White Sox. Bieber still with the Guardians. But they do land Corbin Burns. I think this is a bit shocking, though, because obviously the Brewers have made some big moves. They got Reese Hoskins. They look like they're bulking up for this year. And now they trade their ace, Corbin Burns, a former Cy Young winner, three-time All-Star guy with a 2.86 ERA this decade. So big trade for the Orioles. As you said, this is his platform year, only one year. But, uh, boy, this really adds to the rotation. Rodriguez, Bradish, Kramer. Now they have their ace, Corbin Burns. They actually have a couple aces. Uh, Rodriguez is certainly going to be an ace, oh, yeah. and Bradish pretty close as well. Uh, John, what do you make of the haul and the return going back to Milwaukee? Let's talk about that for a second. Right. I think you meant Hall, H-A-U-L, but D.L. Hall, right, is going to yes, the Brewers. Right. Uh, D.L. Hall, t- talented lefty, could potentially be the closer to replace Devin Williams. Could start. Big fastball. Great curveball, another Georgia prospect. I mean, the Orioles just have so many good young players that they can afford to trade ADL Hall. And then the shortstop going back to Milwaukee also could be uh, the replacement for Adamas, who is also a free agent like Burns after this year. Ortiz is an outstanding defensive player, New Mexico State product, put up big numbers in college. Probably weren't sure what to make of it because uh, that is a hitter's park. But he has continued on and improved as a hitter, but a terrific defensive player as well. So the Brewers did pretty well considering Burns only has one year to go. And we all knew that they were not going to be able to lock up Burns long term in Milwaukee. Obviously, John, with Corbin Burns and about to entering his about to enter his walk year. I imagine some of those highly touted prospects in that prospect rich system for Baltimore probably not going to be in play here. But this, they still have, if they want to, to make other deals. I mean, this system is so rich. Do you think that the Orioles are done? Well, you know, to me, I think they're a winner. I mean, if they're done, they've done very, very well. Uh, Certainly not trading Jackson Holiday. I mean, he could be the starting shortstop or even starting second baseman. Certainly at some point this year, I mean, they're not trading Gunnar Henderson, the rookie of the year. We know that. But they are very, very deep. I know they did not want to trade Westberg. Uh, You know, this one makes sense because Ortiz, it was blocked, frankly. I mean, you're the shortstop in the minor leagues. This is an organization with Gunnar Henderson. Yeah. uh, And with Jackson Holiday, you have nowhere to go. So I'm sure if anybody's thrilled about this deal, it's got to be Ortiz. But they have a great prospect stash. They could do more if they want to. I'm just not sure that they need to.